Allied air base somewhere in England, one of hundreds from which British and American flyers are taking off day after day, hour after hour, hammering the European continent with the greatest aerial offensive of all time. American-built bombers roaring across the channel, turret guns ready, ships loaded with bombs for a raid on military objectives in Nazi-held France. the target and it's bombs away. A railway yard and an airport wiped out with a perfect pattern of direct hits. Mission a success, they turn for home. On the way they pass fresh squadrons of flying forts bound for other targets keeping up the incessant pounding day and night. In North Africa, Captain Eddie Rickenbacker, famous ace of the last war, talks with pilots of General Doolittle's bomber command. These are some of the men who are softening up Italy and the continent for invasion. A cameraman goes along to record an attack on the Sicilian port of Marsala only 90 miles across the Mediterranean from Cape Bon. Axis ships, docks, and harbor defenses crumple beneath the blow. squadron returns to its base, many a plane brings home evidence of enemy fire, but every Allied ship came back. In the South Pacific, Allied air forces are increasing their attacks upon the Japs. Giant liberators, bound for Nauru, an important Japanese base northeast of the Solomon Islands, leave the enemy stronghold smoking and in flames. in the bleak, barren Aleutians. Here, more than 2,000 miles from the United States, planes lead the way in the drive that blasts the Japs from the island. <laughs> Infantrymen track down the enemy, prepared to fight hand to hand. The result, the Japanese garrison wiped out. American casualties are few. Today, United States forces control this strategic stepping stone to Tokyo. United States bombers race for Kiska, only 170 miles from Atu. Kiska, last Japanese-held island in the North Pacific. Flying over rugged glaciers and volcanic mountains, they make the trip loaded with bombs two and three times a day. Eyes glued to the bomb site, the bombardier presses the trigger that releases his lethal cargo. The target, a submarine base and air drill. beating off enemy planes. Now diving for a low-level attack. Coming in for a landing at their own base, Pilots set down their ships on dangerously rain-soaked runways. From the Arctic Circle to the Mediterranean, Allied air forces are bringing the war home to the enemy. 
softening the axis for the day of invasion.